But let's take a deeper look at some of the live video features in the Keynote update because there are some really, really fun ways that you can utilize this. So let's jump into Keynote um, and we're just in this uh, document that I've just been creating for a presentation that I'm doing later in the week. Um, and we can add in, as we've seen before in previous videos, this live video. So you can see now I'm, I'm in the shot and I can edit this and, and move this around. One thing to highlight here is that you can also, you know, still do all your animations with this. So you have all of those features here to be able to animate, uh, build in, all sorts of things, and obviously have this across multiple slides to be able to do things. Now, another thing to highlight here, if I jump on to this second slide, is again, I can add in that live video. It's instantly just gonna bring up that front-facing camera. But actually, what I can also do, if I right-click or double-tap on the, the trackpad on your device, you also have the edit source function. Now, this is one thing that I've just found out uh, through through uh, correspondence with, with a, a good friend of mine. And if I go to edit source, you'll see that you have some options in here to be able to change what you want that icon to look like. So I've gone in and edited the thumbnail. You can see you've got those options to change what you want it to look like, colors, uh, name of that camera, etc. And at the moment, you'll see this is on my front camera. If I just tap done here, there's my front camera. Now, if I go to the format button on the screen, you'll see that I've got those icons, etc., and I can change what, it, what it's gonna look like. But equally, if I go to live video, front camera is the selected source here. I can now also add in a second source. Now I've chosen the rear camera. See, now this is just gonna give me the opposite camera to the device. Now this is a really, really cool feature. Obviously it means that you can do so much. I mean, you can actually now have two video feeds on the same. So if I add in another live video here, here's me presenting. And then here's what I'm looking at whilst I'm presenting. So a great way to do live uh, interviews with people. So you've got both sides of this. You could have students exploring the outdoor world and they could be talking about what they're seeing. And then obviously the other video feed is, is capturing it. So just doing something like a screen record whilst you're doing this, similar to how I'm doing this now. You can take people on a trip and also give them that kind of first person view of what you're doing. Now again, just to highlight that, edit source, you can then call this rear camera, makes it easier to use. I'm on my iPad Pro, so I've got the additional kind of uh, camera angles here. So I've got that wide view um, and ultra wide as well. And this is where you'll just change it from front facing to rear facing and again, change those settings up here. So that's really, really useful, really, really creative things that can come out of this. I'm sure students and, and educators worldwide will come up with some fantastic ways that they can utilize this, both in live presentations like this, but also, like I said, if you just do a screen recording, you can create some really, really nice effects within. So again, just to highlight here, go to that format button, live video. You've got all your options here, choosing your source, adding in additional sources, etc to choose which one you want, but I've already added in my two. Changing the scale, so this will zoom for you, so you have a zoom feature in here as well. Changing that mask, whether you want it to be a circle, a custom size, etc. all sorts of really, really nice features that you can add in here. Again, making that design element important to what you do. But so much fun that you can play around with this. So there we go. So just a, a deeper dive into what you can do with the live video feature. I think this is going to be something lots of people are going to be really creative with. I'm sure people are going to start designing templates that just make it easy to, to create. I know already thinking about this in a chat that I've just had um, on, on Twitter with, with a good friend of mine. I'm already thinking about assessment templates for my students in university where you know, I know I want them to have uh, the recordings of themselves as they present. I can just create that as a template. They they put all the content together and then away they go with a simple screen record and, and present that back to me. That's going to be a really useful feature. Again, in the comment section, please do add in any thoughts, opinions, um, ideas that you might have. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what people come up with.